We're here today to protest the imposed changes to junior do doctor contracts, uh, which we believe to be fundamentally unsafe and unfair. So the contract changes affect all doctors below a consultant level, which is everything from when you've just graduated to senior registrar. Um, firstly, the contracts would be increasing the number of, number of sociable hours from 60 hours a week to 90 hours a week and would mean that working at 9pm on a Saturday night would be considered the same as working at 9am on a Monday morning. Most of the people here at, here at the um, protest are uh, medical students or nursing students or other healthcare students and we've seen firsthand how stretched the current uh, healthcare staff are and how demoralised the workforce are and this will just go to make things far worse and we worry that that will really negatively affect patient safety. So Jeremy Hunt has asked the Doctors and Dentists Review Body, which is a supposedly independent body which decides how doctors and dentists in this country should be paid, to come out with certain conclusions that would allow him to implement seven-day working. Now their proposals are fairly complex, but they essentially come down to firstly giving a 30% pay cut to junior doctors. Uh, junior doctors have already faced about a 25% fall in their pay in the last few years. Um, and so they'll be taking 30% 30, 30 on top of this. Not only is that inequitable and unfair and puts them in a very difficult position, it's also dangerous because the way that they've structured these pay cuts means that you no longer get any overtime pay to work at weekends and to work at nights. It gives hospitals no incentive to not roster on doctors for dangerously long shifts over a dangerously long period of time. It's just not safe. And there was a case of a junior doctor up in Scotland who uh, had done a week of night shift and finished her last shift and drove home and uh, she crashed a car into a ditch because she was so exhausted and she died. And this is the, these are the dangerous conditions which already exist and this will only get worse if this new contract is brought in for doctors. It's not fair and it's not safe and tired doctors will definitely make mistakes. I think the junior doctors have trained for many, many years and I think it's unfair that they have to work for longer hours and less pay. What happens to our junior doctors happens to us all. Uh, we are a team in healthcare, it's not an individual uh, pursuit and we, uh, we rely on our doctors and we rely on them to make very difficult decisions under quite challenging circumstances. And when they're not well rested, when they are demotivated by their pay, they're not able to do that. And that stops us from being able to provide safe care. Uh, and not to mention the fact that this attack on the NHS makes the service feel unsafe to the public. And that will help in, in the government trying to privatise our services. We rely on people being well paid and turning up to work well rested. And they can't do that if these contracts go through. Sociable hours are not what's being proposed in these contracts. It is not fair to expect that at 10 o'clock at night on a Thursday is the same as working at 9 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. Doctors deserve better, patients deserve better, and all of us in the NHS frankly deserve a better deal than what's being proposed here. and safety alone. 